the core functions of a truing and dressing machine, it's pretty well understood how to make that kind of machine. What we do to innovate is to look at how is everything that leads up to that process of running a diamond wheel and running a grinding wheel against it. And we do as much as we can to make it as easy as possible for the user to use the machine. We have quite a few safety features. There are emergency stops located on all the control surfaces of the machine. And we have a lot of integrated safety features in the enclosure. We have added in features like servo controlled positioning actuators, where the operator can stand outside of the safety enclosure and move their diamond wheel where they need it to be without having to reach into the machine. So it's much safer, it's much more convenient. The operator is in control of the end feed and it does not take long for an operator to learn how a wheel should feel when it's being dressed, how the machine is going to respond depending on what they do. In order to make our machines as safe and user-friendly as possible, we realize that we really want to have a safety enclosure around those machines. But we also need a more convenient way for operators to be able to change their wheel packs out. And so we have been investigating different types of spindles with automatic tool change functions. And we do have some fantastic options for people who need to do the same functions that our competitors' machines do, but need an easier and safer way to do it. Just about every feature of the machine is geared towards operator ease of use and making the experience as simple as possible. Really, the dressing machine that we have today is the culmination of listening to what our customers' needs were, you know, finding solutions to issues that they were having, and building from there.